mercy is in the room. Power, faith, compassion is in the room. It's in the room. Heavenly Father, we thank you. We give you glory, we give you honor, we give you praise. We exalt your name and majesty. There's none that can tell you, O oh God. For you are the great I am and I am you. You are the God of possibilities. You are Jehovah overdue. Father, we thank you, O oh God, for a day such as this. It is not a must, neither it is a right, but it is a privilege, O oh God, to be amongst the living, amongst those that you have chosen, O oh God, to use as your vessels, O oh God. That is your hope we pray, O oh God, that you will come and take preeminence in our midst, O oh God. Do that which only you can do, make a name for yourself, O oh God. Speak through each and every one of us, O oh God. Let the weight of your glory resonate upon us, O oh God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have This morning I was just about to go into the closet to pray with my wife. And the Lord dropped something so tangible, very heavy in my heart. And it was talking about humility and fear. So I shared it with my wife, I said, it's something that we need to come and drink and place it on the table, I said, for, for top, I said, log it with a dialogue. So we are here to discuss about humility and the fear of God. Um, my core uh, subject is taken from the book of Proverbs, chapter 22, verse 4. The book of, let's look at the book of Proverbs, chapter 22, verse 4. Yes. Are we there? Yes. It says, the reward for humility and fear of the Lord is riches and honor and life. I want to read one more time. It says, the reward for humility and fear of the Lord is riches and honor and life. So I begin to ponder about this. I say, Lord, have mercy. So God will reward me if only I can be humble. Humility comes from a place of obedience. Yes. Yes. When you bow yourself mm. and let go of any pride spirit, yes. which is number one, acknowledging that there is God. Yes. I want to go back a little bit. The question was asked. It said, if a million dollars come to you now, what would be the first thing that you would do? Somebody said, I will pay my tithe. Mm. Somebody said, I will give to the Lord. I said, no. The first thing you do is not paying your time. The first thing you do is to acknowledge that God. Yes. When you begin to think that it is God, that fear and the humility spirit in you will make you pay your time. Yes. There are some people that don't pay one. They pay their time after going to Rome and come back. Mm -hmm. They will still pay their time. Say, Lord, I'm paying that way when I go to Rome all the time. Yes. So they are not acknowledging this God. They are just using a perception of human yes. belief. Yes. But I'm telling you today that, according to his, to his word, as he said, he said, the reward for humility and fear, the reward is riches and honor and life. My brother, my sister, oh my oh when you humble yourself and fear the Lord that has created you, mm. knowing that He alone is the one that you can diligently seek, mm. that He will give you all that you deserve, all you desire. All you do is to be humble. Yes, yes. That yes. God will give you riches. Men will come from the north, mm. south, to west, and east to honor you. Amen. Yeah. And not only life, it will be love life. Mm. The life God will give to you is not the life that will give to you and you eat the day tomorrow you are dead. Mm. It's going to be a long life, a longer life. Mm. He said he gave Joseph greater grace. Yes. Among men, yes. because Joseph humbled himself and Joseph paid the Lord. Yes. Yes. So that's the topic that came today. I was just wondering, I said, Oh, my father, we need to share this. Oh, what, what do you think about that? I want to reiterate a little bit. Humility is just the state of being humble, it is a state of knowing that no place, it is a state of knowing. That you are not God, mm. rather you are dependent on God. Mm. Without God, you have the ability to do nothing mm. in this life. And when you think about the fear of God, 
He said that you will get spiritual riches and you will have eternal life. What are those riches that you acquire when you walk in humility, when you fear God, when you reverence God, when you respect God, when you know your place? What are those things? Grace. What are those things? Help. Sound mind. There are people that wake up in the morning, their eyes are open, but that's all they can do. They have no, no mobility. They can't move their head, they can't move their legs. People are taking care of them. There are people that can even stand up and they have mobility, but sanity has left them. There are people that have eyes, but they lack the ability to see. There are people that have mouth, but when they open their mouth, there's no voices. I'm not talking about in the place of Hannah. I'm talking about what? You have lost your speech. That person is no longer recognized. You understand? So we're talking about grace. We're talking about abundance. We're talking about health. We're talking about sound mind. We're talking about relevance. We're talking about favor. Not only with God, but with men. We're talking about open doors. We're talking about elevation to heights that no one in your family has ever acquired. All this by humility and fear. Humility wow. and fear. And they talk about, when, when you go a little bit deeper, humility and the fear of God are in opposition. One actually produces oh. the other. Even God commands us to cultivate human humility. When you look at 1 Peter 5 and 6, He tells us to humble yourself before God by accepting His word and His providence without grumbling. We need to know our place as being. It is not a must for a right for us to be here. But God has allowed us to be here. Why? So that every faculty of our life is glorified. Do you know your place? Or have you extended yourself in that same level with God? That's an error. Humble yourself. Let every spirit of pride in your life be destroyed. To have the blessings of God, the favor of God, the riches, the honor, the long life of God, that prerequisite is simply humility and the fear of God. When you hear of God, when you have the fear of God, you walk in obedience. You walk in humility. Every type of spirit, it doesn't take you. It's because by nature, man is quick. If you have a powerful voice and you sing, and you have 10 people come to you and say, Oh, man of God, that your administration was powerful. Even now, you know in your lonely place and know in God's position, it is easy for pride yes. to creep in and take pride so we need to know that when we have this voice, it is God that has given it to us. When we have prosperity, it is God that has given it to us. When we have health and sound mind, it is God that has given it to us. When God positions us amongst great men and open doors, it is God. So when you know that, you will always give that acknowledgement, that reference to God. Amen. Amen. Thank you, man of God. Like it's right, it says here in First Peter chapter 5, the sheep is said, Humble yourself, therefore, under the mighty hands of God, mm. so that at the proper time He may exalt you. Mm. He said, At the proper time. Ah, my brother liked that word, Kairos. He said, at the, at the proper time, God will exalt you. That means there is a time for exaltation. He also God. said, He said, James chapter 4, verse 6, said, But He gives no grace. Therefore, it says, God opposes the proud, yes. but give grace to the humble. Yes. So if you are a proud person, if you are a prideful person, mm. you are in opposition to the God Almighty. My God, my God. You are an opposition party. Yes, yes, yes. I call them party of the proud. PTP. So, man of God, what do you think about this topic today? Uh, man of God, I just want to thank you for yeah. this opportunity. And mm -hmm. Mama, thank you so much oh, nice. for, for the opportunity to be on this exile the table. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord Amen. for bringing things to our spirits, oh, yes. to our mind, because um, the, the, the verities and the beauty of heaven cannot be born in our hearts mm. until God pushes it through the vehicle of revelation. Yes. And when the revelation comes in you, the way you know it's from God is when you begin to have an, 
an, an, an unprecedented, or an immeasurable energy in your heart to just keep it, not, not just keep it to yourself, mm. but to bring it out to the yes. world. Because the word of God comes to you not to keep you immobile. Yes. It, it comes to you to push you to you know, push it to the world, to yes. take this message to the world. And for yes. you to come up this morning, citing this scripture from Proverbs chapter 22, mm. and verse yes. 4, it shows yes. that this is a word from God. Yes. And talking about humility mm. and fear. Yes. Humility mm. is, um, I, I would, from my own understanding, I see humility as a key, mm. as a door opener. Mm. Humility, the way it is to God, it is the same with men. Yes. You notice that if you were once closed up, opinionated, and backed off from an individual, mm. when that person comes to you with an attitude of humility mm. and meekness, yes. you immediately open up That's the door. That's true. Because it shows you that this person Humility gives birth to the fear of the Lord. That's right. Now, like Mama said, humility, the spirit of humility also helps you to become meek. Yes. The word meekness means to have a teachable spirit. That's right. It was the, the spirit of humility that Moses had that made it that made him the meekest man on earth. Yes. And that was why God yes. could walk with him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, so, so, so the spirit of humility, on the other hand, produces the fear mm -hmm. of God. Yes. You know, acknowledging God, like what you said, man of God, that when you have a million dollars, mm -hmm. what's the first thing you do is yes. you say, I'll pay my tithe. Mm -hmm. There's every tendency that the people who pay their tithes mm -hmm. probably don't fear oh. God. They yes. just want to, they just yes. want yes. to do what is right so that that money mm -hmm. can keep coming yes. because they feel prosperity is based on principles. Yes. So now, 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 now the, the, the payment of tithes mm -hmm. may not necessarily mm -hmm. be from the platform of, of, the, fear. of the fear. Ah, yeah. 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 Acknowledging yeah. God yeah. as your father, the mm -hmm. source, he is the Abba mm -hmm. of your life, mm -hmm. you know, puts uh, in, in, your, in, your, in your personality that acknowledgement, that yes. the, the fear of him, that yes. oh, this thing can only mm. could only have come from mm. God. That's right. And so it yes. produces thanksgiving. Yes. And that acknowledgement, oh, Lord, Father, you give me this. Mm. And then from that point mm. of thanksgiving, you can now move to payment of time. Mm. Yes. But the fear of the Lord, mm. born out of the spirit of humility, yes. is, 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 is what actually is another key. Mm. It's amazing to know yes. that. The keys of the kingdom, mm. they have embedded in them other keys. Other keys. Other keys. The, 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 the Bible says that Solomon mm. was the wisest yes. in all of the East. Mm. Yes. That means he was wiser than, 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 than the Easterners. He was a king of kings. Mm. Mm. Other kings came to him to pay tribute. Yes. The queen of Sheba came yeah. to, and, and, and having been schooled mm. in the best of schools, I'm talking about the queen of Sheba, mm. he heard of, she heard of Solomon and was prepared with, 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 with some hard sentences and hard questions for Solomon. But mm. the Bible recorded that when Sheba got to Solomon, there was no more spirit in her. Mm. Because Solomon answered every mm. single question mm. that, that she brought. And yes. Solomon is amazing to know that the, the wisdom of Solomon was hinged on the fear of the Lord. Mm. Yes. That was what made him different. Wow. Amen. Wow. Hallelujah. That's powerful. That is awesome. Powerful. Awesome. Awesome. Powerful. Awesome. Powerful. Awesome. Powerful. Solomon was able to stand. It isn't because he was on that first of all. That's it. I always tell people, before you stand, you have to be under. That's the name, that's the name of that word, understand. Hallelujah. That you have to be under first and stand. The under of Solomon, that word under, was that beginning of the fear. He said the fear of God is the beginning of all wisdom. The fear of the Lord is the productivity. Is the productivity of wisdom. Is what produces wisdom. Mm. It's what produces knowledge. Mm. 
Yes. The knowledge will produce power. My God. My God. We're talking about that two legged mm -hmm. wisdom and power. Yes, sir. My God. Yes, sir. So today are pursuing power, power without exhibiting the humility yes. and the fear of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Yes. They pursue power. They don't my pursue God. the world. My God. That will give them the wisdom to get the power. My God, my God. Hey, my Father. I want to read one more. He said, uh, Proverbs chapter 11, verse 12. He said, When pride comes, mm. then comes disgrace. Yes. But with the humble, is wise. My God. When pride comes, my brother, my sister, he said, When pride comes, it comes disgrace. Mm. Mm. I am telling you today, the reason why you are seeing me here in America today is because yesterday I was humble. Mm. Mm. I've been, I've served in different churches for 20 mm. years. 30 years mm. without collecting dime. My God. My God. I put myself in a place of humility. I mm. drink the water of fear. I drink the water of humility. Mm. And yes. say, Lord, I want to be wonder that way I start. Woman of God, yes. you have something to share. <laughs> I want to say you. that, just to reiterate, humility yes. is not thinking less mm. of yourself. It's <laughs> thinking <laughs> of yourself less. Mm. Even Adam. Not thinking less of yourself. Mm. Even Adam wanted to be God, mm. and because of that, they ended up mortal and expelled from the garden. Nebuchadnezzar boasted, Is not this great Babylon which I have built until God deprived him of his wits? Humility is very important. I will reiterate it is not thinking less of yourself, rather, it is thinking yourself less. You're under. God. God is the force that compels your life. Wow. If he decides today to hide his face, mm. to close his ear, to remove his spirit, mm. what would we mm. become? Mm. What would we become? When you are humble, when you have the fear of God, as men of God said, the fear of God is birth. Out of that spirit of humility. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And when you have humility and the fear of God, when you reverence Him, when you honor Him, when you have that respect for Him, everything in your life will be aligned. Mm -hmm. The spirit of righteousness, the spirit of sanctification, mm -hmm. the spirit of purity will take preeminence in your life. Oh, Why would God not bless you when you're walking in alignment mm -hmm. to His word, to His statutes, mm -hmm. to His words? What is and I'm telling you, riches. We want the riches of the world, but we don't want to abide according to the law, according mm. to the statute, according to the word of God. Uh -huh. mm. We want that long life. Mm. We are quick to pray for those things. But what does our inner man reflect? Mm. We can quote every scripture, but is that word really abiding? And can we, or we ourselves, abiding in it? Mm. When people look at us, what are they seeing? Mm. Do they see the humility? Mm. Do they see the fear of God based on our character, mm. our attributes, mm. what we are projecting mm. every single day mm. when we are having contact with people? Hallelujah. That is how you know mm. who you are as a child of God. Amen. Amen. Mm. Yes, ma'am. Well, you want to cheat in something? Yes, sir. Yes, I can see you boiling. Ah, I see the fire. Yeah, that was... Or, or 
the revelation of, of, of an enveloped yeah. mind That's of right. an individual. That's right. Like a father talking to his son. Ooh. Does that word abide with you? How does the son take it? How does the son take it? Is he abiding with you? Yes. Are you listening to your mom or your dad yes. and just saying, she's just one of those charlatans? She's yes. just one of those, or he's just one of those, you know, oh, who just disturb my life. Oh, I don't want to, I don't want anyone to talk to me. I want to go. Yeah. I want it. In the Afghanistan, in, in America, it's a free world. I mean, I want to live the way I want. My God, my God, my God. If you are wise and you want a very great future for yourself, I'm talking to the youth now. If you want a great future for yourself, give attention. Yes. Pay attention yes. to the words of your mother. Yes. Pay attention to the words of your father. Yes. Especially, yes. It comes from a platform too. Yes. Especially if you have a good God-fearing parent. Yes. Now the reason why I'm saying it is this. It was clear in the scripture, Solomon, when God said, what do you want me to do for you? And he said, give me wisdom, that I may rule your people. And God said, you didn't ask for money, you didn't ask for the head of your, for the heads of your of enemies, you asked for wisdom. He said, okay, now, with wisdom, I'll give you long life, prosperity. Mm. Peace around the bounds. Blank check. Everything, you, every, Blank everything check. a man will ever dream of, mm. I will give you with this wisdom you have asked for. But right. the, the, the root of the matter is this. Man of God. Woman of God. Yes. The root of the matter is this. How did Solomon, the question is, how did Solomon know to ask for wisdom? Oh. My God, my God. How did he know that? Mm. Let's discover why he found that it was wisdom should mm. answer. Mm. Proverbs chapter 4 from mm. verse 1. So Lord was talking to a group of people. He was talking to probably his sons. He said, Hear ye children mm. the instruction of a father and attend to know understanding. For I give you good doctrine. He said, I am giving you good advice. He said, forsake ye not my law. Yes. For a wise man, the wisest man of earth to be giving you instruction, you better listen. Okay. Come on now. He said, he said, for I was now listen to this. This is this, this is the sequence of so Watch out that one. What verse is that? Then? Chapter 4 of Proverbs, verse 3 now. Okay. He said, For I was my father's son. I was tender. I'm only beloved in the sight of my mother. I was my father's son. The word son there means mm. an adopted son. Yes. It, 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 it depicts a son that is being trained. Like yes. a king can give a, um, one of his sons to wise men, mm. to uh, as, astrologers, or, or to a spiritually minded people, mm. to men of the law, men of deep wisdom. Yes. A, a king can give his son to such people to be trained. Mm. And so you can say he was trained to become a son of the king. Yes. You yes. know? Yes. Solomon is talking in this respect. He's not talking about the uh, uh, adoption of um, I need a child, I look yes. adopt a son. Yes. He's talking, he was talking about the adoption of his father, David, mm. telling him, teaching him things. Mm. Now look at what David told him. He said, For I was my father's son. Mm. Not biological. But a trained son. Oh. He said, he said, tender and only beloved in the sight of my mother. He taught me, David oh. taught Solomon, and said unto him, Let thy heart retain my words. Just like Solomon was going to tell his sons. Oh. He said, Let thy heart retain my words. Keep my commandments and leave. He said, Get wisdom. Oh. That was how Solomon got the secret. Oh. He said, Get wisdom. Oh. Get oh. understanding. Oh. Forget it not, neither decline from the words of my mouth. Yeah. You see, forsake her not. No, 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 no. David was trying to personify. The, 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 that's what I call the, pacif the personification of wisdom. Yes. David was trying to make Solomon love wisdom like a man would love a woman. I'm telling you. I'm relate telling you. with her as a man would relate with his woman, with his wife. He said, forsake her not, and she shall preserve thee. He said, love her and she yeah. shall keep thee. 
He said, wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. And all that gets it, get understanding. He said in verse 8, he said, exalt her. Yes. And she shall promote thee. My God. She shall bring thee to honor God. when thou dost embrace her. Let me just stop right there. Yes. The secret of Solomon acquiring wisdom from God That's was listening to his father. That's very important. Humility and fear. <laughs> My God. Yes, you, God. Are. I'm telling you, you are not talking about the woman that is a the carrier of the seed. That was the seed, mm -hmm. the seed of humility and fear. Yeah. That is why, because you can only carry when you have a woman. Mm -hmm. That is why you use the shield. Mm -hmm. They carry out the seed. Jesus! Yeah, 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 yeah. Jesus! Hey. The word! Oh. The word of God, which is the seed. Mm -hmm. That the Bible says, for oh. oh. this seed dies, you can never abide. You started from that abide. You started from that abide. This seed, you will plant it. Until he dies, my brother, you have to die in that dream for what can happen. There is a dream that he, that Solomon went into that coma, mm. and the Lord visited him and said, "What do you want me to do for you, mm. my brother? You have to be in that day. Oh, mm. if you don't kill, you have to come out of God. Oh, oh. Let me know. I went back a little bit. Yes, the reward Lord. for humility and oh, reward, reward is Jesus. riches, honor, and life. Aye, what Lord. is a reward? What is a reward? It said that reward in a cyclical sense, it is something given in return for a good thing that is done. At the same time, when we talk about the grace of God, Say that grace of God is unmerited. Mm -hmm. But when you talk about the reward for humility and fear, though grace is unmerited, it says that this reward is merited. It's merited. Mm -hmm. What have mm -hmm. you done? Yes. What are you yes. doing? How yes. are you living? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You understand that? Grace is unmerited. Mm -hmm. But this reward in this sense is something merited. You have done something to get this reward for God. You have done something in your life for God to grant you access mm. to reach access. Mm. To respect. Mm. To abundant living. What is that thing that we do every single day in our life? To encounter the favor of God. Mm. To encounter God's blessing. Mm. To encounter breakthrough. Mm. To encounter open doors, to be simple and the motto to me. What are we doing? Mercy is in the room.